Here we are. Welcome back. back. My little oven. Episode 10. It's kind of a big deal. It's episode 10. Planned on having fireworks. But. But then I didn't go get any. So no fireworks. But. But. It's Father's Day. Father's Day special. He's shaking his head about something. But. Episode 10. We made it to double digits. Everybody, let's go! Woo! Episode 10! Yeah! Yeah, so, episode 10. Here we are. Really excited to be in the double digits. But, uh, today is Father's Day, and we're gonna reverse sear some T-bone steaks that my dad uh, has from the steer that he had butchered. And again, that was a grain-fed steer, and I really like it. So uh, we haven't had any of the T-bone steaks yet. This is gonna be pretty cool. But what I decided to do uh, for this, actually, since uh, when you reverse sear something, you really need to smoke it for probably at least 30 minutes. And so I got the fire going right now. I tried to start it uh, manually without a lighter with like a little striker deal. It didn't work. Uh, so, uh, basically I used a lighter. It's okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, my dad has a fresh tuck. Look at that. He just tucked his shirt in. That's, I mean, that is classy. It's Father's Day. Come on. He's hanging up his Father's Day gift I got him right now. He was super excited to get it. Let's go back to the replay on that. We're going to go back to the replay of me giving my dad... Okay, my dad's on the way. I got him the perfect Father's Day gift. Red, red. Hey, Dad. Hey, look at this. Happy Father's Day. Lone Star Beer, your favorite. Uh, I drink Miller High Life. So to reverse sear steaks, you need to cook it with indirect heat. So what I've done, I've got the fire going pretty good. I'm going to let it burn down to coals. I've got my little grill right here. And that's just where I'm gonna put the steaks and I'm gonna cover it with my trusty lid. I chopped up some oak earlier and I stuck it in water. And uh, it's been soaking in water for probably uh, about four hours right now. You definitely wanna leave it soaking so that it soaks. As dumb as that sounds. But you wanna just, you know, really let it soak. Overnight would probably be best, but Right now we're working on about four hours with that. My dad hung up a bunch of stuff. Got the cutting board. I don't really use that. I got some new gloves, some new shiny little things. And boom, look at this. Yep, new knives. Today, I went to the flea market alone. Was I scared? <laughs> no. No, I uh, know, yeah, okay. Anyways, my dad hung up his favorite Father's Day gift. And anyways, these knives, here's the other one. They're made by a guy named David McCorkle. He's from Burnett, and he's in Lampasas on Saturdays, and he's in Belton at the flea market on Saturday, uh, Sundays. But uh, turns out his name is David, it's not the knife guy. Okay, so uh, the fire's looking pretty good, go. I've got the grill, my little grill set off to the side. I took off all the little plastic pieces, you don't want that in there. It probably causes cancer or something, I would imagine. Um, I'm probably, since there's still a good flame, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wet oak in. I'm probably gonna go ahead and call it woke. Stay woke, fam. Anyways. The woke's about to go on. Uh, that's gonna cause a whole bunch of smoke. Stay woke. And then once we're done, uh, I'm gonna take this steak out. I'm gonna let this steak rest. I'm gonna put the grate on. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna build the fire back up, put the grate on, and then we're gonna cook it on each side for one to two minutes each. We're gonna celebrate Father's Day. Do you wanna celebrate Father's Day with me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got bit by a yellow jacket today in that finger. It hurt. I just wanted to say. You... 
We don't ad lib on my little oven. Yeah, we do. Everything's planned. Yeah, we do. So now I guess that brings us to our next segment. Remedies with Monty. Cue the music. Okay, welcome back. Please tell us. Tell the world. All right, what you do, you get bit by a yellow jacket or a red wasp, a bumblebee. Take the tobacco out of your mouth. It's got to be wet. Put it on the sting bite. Then you wrap it in painter's duct tape. Masking tape. Masking tape. Or anything sticky. Yeah, sticky. And you leave it on there for at least 30 minutes, an hour. I've had this on two hours and it's feeling good. Yeah. But also, if you don't already have tobacco in your mouth. Juiced up. It's got to be juiced up. It's got to be. We're all about getting juiced up. It'll, it'll suck the poison out of there. <laughs> Get the tobacco. So that concludes Remedies with Monty. Take it out. Well, right now, uh, I've got the steaks. They're just sitting there. I've got the salt and pepper. It's just kind of soaking in. I'm just going to let it soak in for just a little bit. All right, well, I left the steaks on probably a combined about 45, 50 minutes. Smoked them out real good. I got the internal temperature up to 110. That's good enough for me. We're about to put it on fire. So pretty sure it's good. It's full of the smoky flavor. I like the fire where it's at. So let's do this. I'm actually going to go ahead and cook these a little longer uh, because they, the internal temperature was a little lower and we're going to eat for Father's Day and we're going to have some barbecue sauce and I'm ready for the barbecue sauce. Are you ready for the barbecue sauce? Okay, so it's time to take these off. <clears throat> the flash is really bright, but uh, I think they've been on. They've been on for about five minutes a side each. I think. I don't really know. Uh... It's going to work for us right now. They look amazing. And I'm going to take them right now. I'm going to cover them up. I'm going to let them sit. We've got some fresh garlic from my dad's yard. It's wild garlic that grows. I've got some butter. I'm going to cover all of it. And I'm just going to let it sit, kind of let it melt. I don't know. The butter's melted really good. The garlic smells amazing. Uh, it's time to cut it see how well i cooked it so that is gonna be a big yes for me yes sir yes it's tender wow looks good i'm never gonna be able to cook a steak another way again <laughs> i mean the garlic that is garlic that just randomly i guess grows in my dad's yard Look at that. Okay, well, that is episode 10. Thank y'all so much for sticking through into the double digits. Reverse searing a steak is 100% the way you got to do it. This was perfect for this T-bone steak right here. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's episode 10. And I'm just really excited right now. I want to tell the world that it's episode 10. Oh, son, let's go. That was our time. We're done with it.